Hi, welcome to the session on uh, CMA part one. Financial reporting, planning, performance, and control. In this session, we'll continue discussing on cost terminology. In cost terminology, we discussed about various costs like sunk cost, differential cost, um, opportunity cost, explicit cost, um, economic cost. We even discussed about target cost. In this session, we'll discuss about the cost classification according to the behavior, behavior of the cost. According to the behavior of the cost, the cost are classified into fixed, variable and mixed cost. Fixed cost is a cost which remain constant within a relevant range. In a production capacity or a time period, the amount of a uh, certain cost remains same, like rent, insurance, depreciation, property taxes, a uh, monthly salary of a supervisor or a manager, factory manager, that remain same irrespective of the production. Fixed cost as an amount is constant, but when you calculate Per unit, it is variable because fixed cost is constant based on the time basis. Say, for example, we have a rental cost of $5,000 per month. In a month, we produced 2,000 units. So the fixed cost per unit here is $2.5 per unit. But in the other month, we produced 4,000 units. So when you calculate fixed cost per unit, it comes to $1.25 per unit. So fixed cost decreases as the number of units produced increases. Fixed cost per unit decreases when the number of units produced increases. Whereas as an amount, it is constant. Like you pay $5,000 per month per month irrespective of the production. So your fixed cost remains same, but per unit is variable. Whereas variable cost, variable cost is a cost which changes according to the production. As the number of units produced increases, your material cost will go up. The labor cost will go up when you pay on hourly basis or per unit basis. So the, the amount of you know, cost goes proportionately according to the number of units produced. More units produced, higher the cost. Less units produced, lesser the cost. But fixed cost per unit will remain same. Say for example, we use a, a, a material in a product, so like two kgs of material for one unit, which is $5 per kg, per kg, okay. So one unit needs two kgs of material. The material cost is $5. So to produce one unit, we'll have to spend $10 on one unit of production for material. You produce, say for example, 1000 pieces, 1000 pieces times $10 it is going to be $10,000. The material cost is $10,000. You produce 1,500 units, the material cost will be at the rate of $10, it is $15,000. So as an amount, it increases as the production increases, as an amount. But per unit, if you see again, per unit cost remains same. Variable cost per unit is fixed. Variable cost as an amount is variable. If you see here $10,000 divided by 1,000, you'll get $10. $15,000 total amount divided by 1,500 units, you will get $10. So variable cost per unit 
is constant but as an amount it is variable some costs have a, a behavior of both fixed and variable we call them as semi fixed costs or semi variable costs because they have a flavor of both fixed and variable to some extent it is fixed and the remaining portion it is variable like utility charges a commission paid to sales executive with a fixed amount of say $1000 per month plus $3 per unit sold per unit sold so the monthly salary irrespective of the number of units sold is $1000 which has the fixed nature whereas we pay a commission of $3 per unit in addition to $1000 per month which is called variable cost so when you want to know the total wage of the sales person we need to know how many units are sold in a particular month say for example in a particular month the sales person sold 1200 units so total wage will be the fixed cost $1000 plus Three dollars per unit sold. Then the number of units sold given is one thousand two hundred. The total wage is going to be a fixed cost of one thousand dollars plus a variable cost of three thousand six hundred dollars. So the total wage for a month is four thousand six hundred dollars. This portion, this portion is called one thousand fixed cost. and the remaining portion is called 3600 variable so the total amount is 4600 the total cost has a flavor of both fixed and variable then it becomes mixed cost in the fixed cost definition we used a relevant range relevant range is nothing but the time period in which fixed cost remain constant or the production capacity in which the fixed cost will remain same like we uh, created a relevant range of say 10000 units of production capacity whether you produce 8500 units 9500 units or 7500 units some fixed cost will remain same like rent so the relevant range here is the resources what we have is to produce 10000 units the relevant range can be even time period like when i said rent rent is fixed from say for example jan to december one year contract whether you produce or not the rental amount will remain same during the period of tenancy contract rental contract that is called a relevant range it can be a time period or it can be a maximum